Hello YouTube, it's Tony. Welcome to episode 2 of my learning PVM series. I definitely want to do more Araxer kills because I want to just keep perfecting at what I'm doing right now. I checked the comment section and I'd like to say, I really appreciate your support for how well I'm doing in Araxor. I mean, some people obviously are going to disagree, but I'm not here to really complain anyways. I don't know if I'm going to do any other boss within this episode, I do think that Araxor takes a lot of time to perfect. One of the major suggestions was that I should use more keybinds and increasing my screen resolution. I don't know about screen resolution because when I made the screen really big, I noticed that everything was just so far apart, so I'm gonna have to figure out what is a good PVM interface. Nice. I now have the buff for the nope 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 perk. So I'm just going to do a couple of Rax kills outside of stream because I just want to see what it's like doing it without any sort of pressure. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I died like three times previously because I just kept getting hit by the reflect or the cleave. But yes, let's see what we get from this. Mm, couple of Hydrix bull tips, not bad. Oh my god, that was really close, man. I was just trying to DPS him and I wasn't paying attention to that bouncing black thing. <sighs> See, the thing is, if you worry about multiple mechanics, this is where it gets complicated, you know? Oh, a pheromone. That, That is the first cool drop I got. Yeah, not a bad choice. Wow! Top path and I get 524 kill time. Awesome, man. I'm always trying to improve on PVM, you see? And another record set, 547. Not bad, I'm doing a lot better than this. The thing is, I'm still dying to reflex, but that's because I just keep, you know, Doing reckless DPS without realizing, oh, you gotta focus on the mechanics, but let's see what we get. At first, I was getting two kills in a row, which was nice, right? And then later on, I just kept dying to the same old mechanics, which was either the reflect, the web, or I just prayer flicked the wrong prayer in P4. Oh, and also, I forgot to record this, but I did get a top, pa top leg piece at 52 kill count. Yes, this is my very first drop and I'm so happy for this. But still, I'm trying to learn this boss fully and just gonna do a couple kills off stream. Ooh, that was awfully close. I almost died from that, man. I didn't want to waste that last piece of food, but that was really, really close. <sighs> Thank goodness. Let's see if we can get something. And Stone Spirits. How nice is that? But hey, that was actually a pretty good kill time. 512. I mean, for a learner, that is. Oh my god! Yo! I actually got the Araxi pet. Oh my god, 558 kill time. And I get an Araxi pet? Holy Jesus, let me see what kill count that is. 57! Holy jeez! Yo, that's unbelievable. That is so unbelievable. 57 kills and I get this pet? I have no idea what that is, man. Absolutely no idea. This was the fewest amount of times I died, well, in a single hour, and... Total kills is 50... 60, so the enrage is 160. That means I did... 8 Araxor kills. Yeah, this is not the best, but I'd say at least I'm definitely improving by a significant amount. Wow, my very first kill with 200% enrage, man. Yeah, that was really hard because I died several times. Holy Jesus, 1 HP! 
How is that possible? Yo. I actually died over a cleave that came in the last second. Wow. What a weird death. I thought it only I had 1 HP but it looks like I didn't survive that. <laughs> oh my goodness. 220% enrage kill. Nice. Yeah, that is so far my highest enrage and let's see what we get. Eh, nothing special. It's too bad high enrage doesn't get you anything. Oh my god, I almost got this. Come on. Oh my god, I almost had this. I almost had this. I was just one hit away f Oh man. I almost had this. I almost had that. Nice. Two forty percent enrage kill. Nice. That is a personal record. Yes, I'm actually done with this challenge. Was to kill the mirror back. Oh yes, nice. I've unlocked the mirror back and the acidic pet. Yes, I did it. Now I don't have to face a mirror back spawn anymore. 521 kill time, not bad. Alright, for the remainder of these trips, I'm going to use a Blood Knight Hill for this. Oh my god! Oh. Oh my god! Oh my god, 18 HP! Nice, 419, that's my new personal record. Oh, and I did this without a yak, so I did this with a night hill. And I consume most of my food though, however. So, just gonna loot this anyways, and nothing special, as always. Oh my god! I died at the same time as I got the kill, man. Oh, wow. Ouch. I did a 240% enrage. Oh, and another leg top. Wow. That is awesome. Yeah, well, not really after drops, but I'm still trying to learn the boss, so... Yeah, I'll take that anyways. Finally, I get to record me getting a le leg top because the last one... Unfortunately, I forgot to record that clip. <laughs> oh, I got it. Nice. First kill and I got a hell weird. Nice. Sixty-nine HP. Bam. Nice. I didn't even use food on this one. I did do some Hellware kills on my Iron Man account, and it's surprisingly really, really easy. Yeah, maybe it's because I gave myself a really big challenge of doing a Raxor with Melee, and so all you needed to do was just memorize the rotations for Hellware. See, the thing about Hellware is that even if you res a little late, you can still get the res attack, which means you don't even need to use food with this type of gear. Yeah, I don't know. Somehow this is one of those bosses that I learned super fast without even dying once. Anyways, I'm just gonna do one hour Raxor and this is a fresh new day. Yo, this is probably my fastest P4 in a long time. I got it to the point where he did no special attacks, which is really, really amazing. Alright, so... This wraps up my entire episode of my PVM series, and let's see how many Araxor kills do we have. That is at 83, so that is not so bad. Honestly, I kind of did improve my PVM skills because I was able to kill these without any trouble for the most part. The only problem I kept dying to were just the reflex, and also, sometimes I would get killed by some cleave or something like that. 
You know, on P4, I would panic if I was hit by a special attack here. But even then, I'm doing a much better job than before, and I'm so proud that I'm achieving really, really well on this. Now, to end this episode off, I'm probably planning to do Group PVM next episode, although I'm not really sure about this. I know for sure I want to start doing a Rockstar on my Iron Man account because it is almost 2-3 rotations. I will definitely try other bosses in the future, well, I know the first two episodes was all about a Rockstar, but trust me, I just wanted to perfect my mechanics, okay? It takes a really really long time for a lot of people, and I think I learned faster than usual. That being said, thank you for watching, and I hope I see you next episode. Also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I hope you enjoyed this episode.